I keep coming back to this video from Leslie Jordan's Instagram feed as I think about what he did in life and country music. Here, watch for yourself with a warning that you're going to hear a swear word two times. Well, shit. That's mine. How y'all doing? Now that's mine too. Well, shit, how y'all doing? Jelly roll. I gotta call you back. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Jordan stood 4 foot 11, weighed about a buck 50 according to the internet. Jelly Roll is nearly a foot taller and weighs close to 500 pounds. One is a gay actor who moved from Chattanooga to Los Angeles to become a star. The other is a former convict married to this woman who grew up near Nashville and stayed there to become a star. My point is that on paper these two men couldn't be more different, but in life they found something familiar in each other. Here's what Jelly Roll had to say after Leslie Jordan died on October 24th at age 67. Quote, You were one of the sweetest, most caring souls I ever had the encounter of knowing. I'm glad I told you I loved you every time we spoke or came across each other. In life and country music, there are dividers and uniters, and until he died, Jordan was the captain of Team Uniter. Well, hello, pilgrims and fellow fitness fanatics. I have come up with a better exercise today than yesterday. Yesterday we used the back scratcher to great effect. Today we're gonna make the back scratcher a baton. Cause when I was little, my daddy took me to my very first football game. He said, this is the offense, this is the defense. And I said, but when did the majorettes come out? My dad said, oh son, as if he was in deep pain. If there's something you loved about the pint-sized actor, singer, and comedian, let us know in the comment section below. I'm Billy Dukes, and longtime subscribers know we do our best to emphasize what's right in country music, even when the news is sad. I hope you'll consider subscribing by the end of this video. Our title promised a reaction from Dolly Parton, and I'm going to get to that right now. Dolly and Leslie had a special relationship. Like so many of us, Leslie grew up a fan of hers. And in July 2022, he told Apple Music Country's Dave Cobb about dropping Tanya Tucker like a hot potato to meet her. The opportunity came pretty last minute while Leslie was recording with Tanya. Quote, I just left Tanya sitting, he recalled, remembering how well he'd get along with the country queen. We sat down and glommed on to one another and didn't shut up for about an hour. In 2021, Dolly joined Leslie for a gospel song called Where the Soul Never Dies from his company's coming album. I am as hurt and shocked as if I have lost a family member, Dolly wrote on Instagram. He will be missed by everyone who knew him personally and by everyone who was entertained by him. Rest in peace, little brother. No sad, no no Randy Carlisle, TJ Osborne, Tucker, Ashley McBride, and Chris Stapleton are just a few more country stars who appeared on that album with Leslie. It was his first album and he walked the ACM Awards red carpet that year we could have been set up for an encore. One day before he died after a car crash in Hollywood, he indicated new music was coming. Songwriter Danny Myrick joined him on stage for this song, adding, quote, Danny helped me with a new original song that should be coming out real soon. Trumpets of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. Well, hello, fellow hunker downers. Coming to you high on half a hand bend. My doctor prescribed. Milligrams when I can't sleep and I get so wound up over all this, but I only take a half, otherwise, I eat everything in the house. But look, Jordan grew up Southern Baptist and he often referred to how he was baptized multiple times. Once he told Philly Mag that, quote, every time the preacher would say, Come forward, sinners, I'd say, Whoo, I was out in the woods with that boy, I better go forward. As an actor, he had important roles in movies like Ski Patrol and TV shows like Hearts of Fire, Murphy Brown, and Reba, and as Beverly Leslie on Will and Grace. Karen Walker. I thought I smelled gin and regret. <laughs> Beverly Leslie, you look more like a woman every time I see you. He'd win an Emmy for that role, but it was his viral Instagram clips that reignited his fame during the pandemic, and I think really this is how we got here, and here, and here. Low Cash weighed in, Britney Spencer had a story, Shelley Wright talked about how the night before she came out as gay, she had dinner with Leslie, Shania Twain shared this. Do you have any talents that we don't know about, that we need to know about, that we would want to know about? I'm a very good dancer, until you tell me a choreographed move. Leslie Jordan's hidden talent 
is freestyle dancing. It was a musical and I had to dance, dance, dance. And they finally said, the choreographer came in and said, okay guys, and Leslie, just do whatever you do. <laughs> you know, to... What's most impressive is that he stretched beyond his age to make friends with younger artists. Ernest talked about having lunch with Leslie Jordan, calling him, quote, one of the sweetest guys I've met. Jimmy Allen talked about 6 a.m. texts. I really could go on and on, and you really should. Just Google him or Twitter search him, or better yet, find some of his best viral comedic moments, like this one. Oh, he's kind of cute. He's a murderer! It's kind of cute. So often, too often, social media splits us up in ways that are obvious and not so obvious. In recent months, country music fans have been a victim of that. But we all had a friend in Leslie Jordan, even those of us who never met him. If I worry about Tom Brady, what is he going to do now? You know? How's he going to afford that beautiful wife of his? And I used to watch him for four to five hours every Saturday. What am I going to do now? Watch him play. Which game is it he plays? Something. Baseball? I can't remember. Anyway, maybe I'd be willing to hire him. He could come be my assistant. He could be an intern for me. He could teach me how to do a take a snap. Whatever that means, you know, I've heard that before. I'm gonna exit with a post from Leslie's Instagram page that announced his death. The love and light that Leslie shared will never go out, and we invite you to share your memories and comfort each other during this time. I invite you to do the same right now in the comments section below. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.